Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For this tutorial, we will do a brief overview of our end of line editor. To download this free tool, click the GitHub link in the comments section below at any time, or watch the follow-up video on how to download and deploy. As a data analyst, sometimes you'll be called in to help figure out why a text file written on one platform, say Linux web servers, won't read into an application on another platform, say a Windows PC application. Often the root cause is different character codes used to terminate lines in the text file. In this example here, you see LF for line feeds. That's a standard end of line character for Linux, Unix, and Mac OS X and newer. Now some applications have the extra functionality built in to handle multiple codes, an LF, a CRLF, a CR only, but other applications do not. In those cases where apps can't handle a different platform's end of character line set, then you need to help identify and fix the problem. And that's what this tool is all about. Different operating systems use different characters to represent the end of line. Windows PCs use a carriage turn and a line feed. Linux, Unix, Mac OS X, and beyond use the line feed only. And the Mac Classic, prior to Mac OS X, used just a carriage return. Now, if you want to pause and take a screenshot of this, go ahead and do it. And I wanted to note that the uh, backslash R is for carriage return, backslash N is for line feed, and these representations you can also use in text editors commonly to do a search and replace globally if you don't want to use this tool. So Notepad++, Ultra Edit, etc. Just search on these combinations of characters to do a search and replace. So how do I use this tool to find the issue? Well, it's pretty easy. Just execute our little utility here by finding wherever you downloaded and saved it to on your machine, double click it, and when the screen comes up, you can go ahead and move it and resize it. It'll remember the next time you use it. And then we're gonna click, notice all these buttons are disabled because there's no file selected. So the first thing we do is click open. We go select a file, I'll just select that one. And right off the bat, when the loading is completed, it gives you a bunch of details. It tells me the file was successfully loaded, there were 38 lines, it was five kilobytes KB in size, and importantly, the end of line counts. There were zero PC end of line counts, zero older classic Mac. There were 38 line fees that are the uh, Linux, Unix, Mac OS, and the one null string, <clears throat> every file after the last line has that end of file character, so you kind of ignore that. So there's our counts. And if you want to, Take a screenshot of this, and you can use it in an email or whatever, but once you're done reading this, go ahead and hit OK, and there's our file. You can scroll and look at all the line feeds. They're all LFs, and then this last line is just an empty string. You can also click the filter here, and if, if there were, for, per chance, one carriage return line feed, you could select this and filter down to just that one line, or if there was one CR, if there was one LF and other, there's that last line. So this filter just lets you quickly find lines, needle in the haystack. Also, there is a record navigation toggle button. I'll click that, and it just shows you, oh, I, you know, off, on, off, on. When it's on, I can move around. I can jump to the last row. You can use the scroll bar to do the same thing. But the search might be useful. Maybe I want to look up the word software. And there it is. And if I hit... Uh, Enter to find next, next, enter, enter, enter. It's just going to jump through and find the word software everywhere. That's just native to Microsoft Access. I'm going to go ahead and hide it. Oh, and also note the file name selected is down here in the status bar, as well as the file size, the count of carriage return line feeds, PC, count of classic Mac, zero, and aligns 38 line feeds, and then an old string. So you have the counts down there if you need them as well. And the close button, if I click that, it'll just remove everything and disable these buttons, and then you can open your next file. I'll just open the same one. So how do I use this tool to fix the issue? Well, again, pretty easy. Picking up where we left off with the problem text file loaded on screen here, simply select the new end of line type that you want. So I was at LF, and I want to make it a PC, so CRF, CRLF. So you select that, and then you click the Convert button to save the changes and reload the new text file. But notice what pops up, a confirmation box. Are you sure you want to convert and save over the original file text file contents? I'm going to hit yes. If I hit no, it would give me a save as dialog and I could select a different uh, file name. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. 
and it automatically changed it. They were LFs, now they're CR, CRLFs, and an account here is PC. Same total line, same KB. Now, alternatively, I could have hit this to do the conversion, and it would give me a convert as or save as, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Yep, I did not pick a file. It's aborted. That's okay. And now when I'm done, I could close it or open a new one, but I'm just going to go ahead and hit exit. And when I do, it'll take, are you sure you want to exit? Yes. And it'll clean itself up and compact itself so that the next time you open it, it's ready to go. And then the file doesn't get bloated over time. One final note, if you go to open the ACCDE and you get this security warning, you'll want to watch the follow-up video on how to install and deploy, and especially how to uh, use the Microsoft Access Trust Center to avoid this message. But you can always hit open and get right in. But to avoid that message, be sure to see the next video. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, then please smash that like button and subscribe for more related content. Also, check out our other related videos and playlists in the boxes to the left.